so protection of trees from or protection of soil from wearing away due to physical forces of water and wind is known as soil conservation soil can be conserved in many different ways the first is increase in vegetation we need to increase vegetation because the roots of the plants and trees are responsible for holding firmly together the soil and hence preventing soil erosion and planting of saplings like native trees like your neem and people needs to be increased and planting of trees on a large scale known as afforestation the next is your crop rotation so talking about the next is crop rotation crop rotation is a method of farming where a number of plants a number of different plants are grown one after the other on a field so that the soil stays healthy and fertile we see that in certain places many different varieties of plants are grown one after the other without any gap so that the soil stays healthy and fertile it is done at different times of the year if any cultivable land is left barren or vacant for long the loose dry soil gets eroded easily thus crop rotation always keeps the soil covered with vegetation so if you take notice if any cultivable land is left vacant or barren for long the loose dry soil gets eroded easily thus crop rotation always keeps the soil covered with vegetation so the next way to conserve soil is crop rotation so what do we mean by crop rotation crop rotation is a method of farming where a number of different plants are grown one after the other on a field so that the soil stays healthy and fertile it is done at different times of the year if any cultivable land is left vacant or barren for long the loose soil dry soil gets eroded easily thus crop rotation always keeps the soil covered with vegetation the next method is cover crops so between harvesting one crop and planting the next crop the fields should not be left barren as this may blow away the top soil and lead to deplete depletion of important soil nutrients making it infertile so the next is your cover crops so when harvesting is going on that is be between harvesting one crop and plantation of the next crop the fields should not be left barren as this may blow away the fertile top soil and thus lead to depletion of important soil nutrients thereby making it infertile so different ways to uh, conserve the soil so the first is increase in vegetation the next is crop rotation so crop rotation is a method of farming where a number of different plants are grown one after the other on a field so that the soil stays 
healthy and fertile. It is done at different times of the year. If any cultivable land is left barren or vacant for long, the loose dry soil gets eroded easily. Thus, crop rotation always keeps the soil covered with vegetation. The next method is cover crops. So between harvesting one crop and planting the next crop, the fields should not be left barren as this may blow away the topsoil and lead to depletion of important soil nutrients making it infertile. So talking about the different ways or methods to conserve the soil. The first is increase in vegetation. The next is your crop rotation. Next is your cover crops wherein the farmers can protect the soil by growing cover crops until next crop is planted. So the time between the harvesting of one crop and the planting of another crop there is a gap and they, the soil should not be left barren as it may lose the soil nutrients, the important soil nutrients. In that case farmers can protect the soil by growing cover crops until the next crop is planted. The next method is development of pastures. So the next method of soil conservation is development of pastures. The grass and herbs do not get time to recover and grow due to overgrazing. So when there are excess number of animals grazing at a particular place we see that the grass and herbs they do not get time to recover and grow. This leads to soil erosion. To prevent such erosion areas should be reserved for pastures. There should be one particular place that is known as a pasture that is it should be segregated or separated for grazing. Animals should be taken to such places for grazing and not allowed to wander. So those places that has been separated as pastures, animals need to be taken to those places and not allowed to wander. So the next method of soil conservation is development of pastures. So we see that the grass and the herbs do not get enough time to recover and grow due to overgrazing. This leads to soil erosion. To prevent such erosion, areas should be taken and should be areas should be reserved for pastures. Animals should be taken to such places for grazing and not allowed to wander. So the next is your construction of embankments. embankments. So the next method is your construction of embankments. Building embankments along river banks prevents soil erosion. So to prevent soil erosion along river banks, we need to build or construct embankments. The river water is unable to flood the nearby fields. Soil is thus conserved from erosion through water. So when we build embankments, the uh, river water is unable to flood the nearby fields and thus the soil is conserved from erosion through water. 
So the next method we seen is your cover crops wherein farmers can protect the soil by growing cover crops until the next crop is planted. The next method is development of pastures. The grass and herbs do not get time to recover and grow due to overgrazing. This leads to soil erosion. To prevent such erosion, areas should be reserved for pastures and animals should be taken to such places for grazing and not allowed to wander. The next is construction of embankments. Building embankments along river banks prevents soil erosion. The river water is unable to flood the nearby fields. Soil is thus conserved from erosion through water. So these are the different methods. So the first is increase in vegetation, crop rotation, cover crops, development of pastures and construction of embankments.